The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Grains, CNM Seeds, and Syngenta Canada. Find more episodes of The Wheat School by going to wheatschool.com. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com. What incredible weather! And everybody, it's so cool. Everybody is excited about wheat. Of course, wheat. The big question. It has been such a warm, gorgeous spring. What do we do about nitrogen on wheat? So it's really clear. The data is super clear. If you put nitrogen on wheat before green up, no, no yield response whatsoever. So there was a little bit that went out in February that was just for test plots. Guys wanted to try it, but it was too early in terms of a yield boost, almost for sure. And we'll get those yield results, so that'll be cool. But now we go out to the field, we can see it. We are at green up. We have gorgeous new white roots growing. That tells us the wheat has woken up, it's alive, and it's going to make a great crop. But wait a minute. Here in Ontario on March the 7th, Do we actually go out and put nitrogen on wheat? We're standing in a heavy clay field. There is no mud on my shoes. How often do we get that opportunity? Let's think about this. First of all, it's those new white roots that take up the nitrogen. The demand as this wheat comes out of dormancy for nitrogen and sulfur is really, really tiny. The risk of putting nitrogen on right now and it turning warm and wet because that's the big risk. What we're really worried about, soil temperatures are cold, we're not too worried about volatilization, we should get rain in terms to move that nitrogen into the soil. But denitrification, 2012, if you recall 2012, incredibly warm March, it was 24 degrees Celsius on the 24th of March in 2012 where we put all the nitrogen on early, late April, it turned warm and wet and we lost a whack of that nitrogen. And if you didn't reapply, you gave up significant yields. Split applications really paid in 2012. If you are a single application grower, it's too early. It's simply too early. The demand is low. Who knows what the weather brings? I mean, as we get these warmer winters, we are going to have to reassess our nitrogen management. But a single shot of your entire nitrogen amount, no way you were going to do that. But if you're a keen wheat grower, and there's so many keen wheat growers in Ontario and Michigan and the Great Lakes, and that's cool. You want to be a keen wheat grower and everybody's saying, man, I'd really like to give her a boost. Well, okay, we're not likely to lose sulfur. The data we have is clear on that. The sulfur demand for wheat is really early. So you could put all your sulfur on or the biggest portion of your sulfur here shortly, mid-March. That would be okay. The nitrogen amount you want to keep low. And if you're going to give it a boost now, you make sure that you're split applying. And remember, we just did a wheat school and we showed you that nitrogen demand, once we hit stem elongation, three pounds per acre per day. So we're going to be back in to that wheat field, to this wheat field on the 20th of April-ish. We're gonna watch it, we're gonna stage it. And when we see that growing point starting to move or getting ready to move, That's what we're going to come back in and put that big nitrogen shot on. We're not going to wait until mid-May, particularly in a warm, warm spring like this. So, do warm winters mean we should change our nitrogen management? Absolutely, we should think about it. Gosh, if I have late wheat, this is not late wheat. If I have late wheat that only has one or two leaves, getting out now with some nitrogen to to try to stimulate tillers, that doesn't always work. Mostly it's too cold that we, the, the nitrogen can't help. This spring with this weather, that early nitrogen on late wheat probably helps. So on late wheat, absolutely. On big wheat, if I wanna be an aggressive grower, you know, some ammonium sulfate, some ATS, a little shot of nitrogen, not more than 50 pounds, I think you could get out here in mid-March and give it a boost. But if you're a single grow, a single shot grower, no way, wait until April. So there you have it, new nitrogen management because of all the warm weather, winter weather that we're getting, how dry it is, whatever you do, 
Get out there, look at your wheat crop, decide on your nitrogen management strategy, and grow great wheat.